Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Todd McFarlane Mortal Kombat uh, figure Baraka. And I found them at my Target. I've heard these guys, this one's pretty hard to find. Um, so yeah, they've had a few good ones at the Target that I went to. They had like this one other Doom figure, but didn't wasn't able to get them at the time. But I found Baraka there, so I grabbed them. I had enough money to get them, so I did. Uh, but here's front Freya. So you get that Mortal Kombat logo on the top there. You get the little picture of Barack I figured there. Barack, uh, um, Tarkatan, uh, Beefcake? Beefcake, that's it. Beefcake. <laughs> Sorry. And then you get the side with the uh, Barack figure on that side. And then here's the back Freya. And then you get that Mortal Kombat logo there. Tom, uh, McFarlane Toys. Um, nothing on the top. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI for you. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Baraka out of packaging here. So he does come with one accessory here, which is the brain, which looks pretty well made. You get all those like little brain membranes. You get the little pink and the little um, sculpts, I guess. And then you get the pink uh for the other parts i don't know what you call them uh sorry and then you get this like little hole um which you'll put on one of the spikes which i'll show here in a bit after i'm done going over the figure but yeah they did a good job on this actually this is pretty cool and then you get that one other i forgot what this part of the brain is called but i forgot but yeah good job um but that's the only accessory that it comes with um so let's go with the figure so one thing to point out, I don't, yeah, these are, I don't think you could take these pieces off. Or maybe you can actually. You may be able to actually. Let's see if I can. Because you can see that there's like a little thing coming out there, but I don't want to break it if it's glued in there or something. Oh, yeah, there you go. But yeah, if you take that out, it's just going to be like a little gash there. So yeah. Um, but let's go over to figure here. So. Uh, here's his face sculpt, so you get those long, nasty, uh, what you call them, Pennywise teeth. Uh, you get a bunch of scars, you get the elf ears here. I like the skin tone that they use for him, it's pretty cool. And you get that, like, reptile eyes here. Um, you get that, like, wide ass jaw. Uh, but yeah, they did a good job, you get a little bit of vein action there. Um, and yeah, and then here's the upper torso here. So it's kind of like he's bulky, but lean. I don't know what you call it, but you get some spikes on the traps or yeah, traps here. Uh, and then here's his back looking all scarred up. You get more spikes along the, his vertebrae. And yeah, they, they're keeping the skin, the skin tone consistent. So that's good. And then for the arms, you get these really cool spikes all throughout the shoulder and then the bicep area so that's pretty cool and you get some more scarring going across his arm so that's cool same deal on the other side and they are using like a i guess this color for the spikes kind of but it's like kind of faded so it's kind of hard to tell on camera but you can kind of tell in person you get a little bit of mispainting there i think but yeah it's not going to bother me. You can barely tell, actually. Same deal on the shoulder. It's not going to bother me. Um, and then you get the wraps for his form. And they keep it consistent even through that little that elbow piece here. So that's good. And you get all the wrinkles and stuff like that for him. You get another spike going through there. And you get his like, claw, which I like a lot. Looks really big like a bone, it's like Wolverine bone claws kind of, um, then his hands, you get the tan or tan nails, whatever you call them, long nails, so yeah, there's those, and then you get this like, I don't know what you call this part here, but I'm going to call it a belt, kind of, I don't know, a skirt, but yeah, you get that, I think that's a skull, and then yeah, you get some cool detailings. Like it's kind of like a gunmetal gray, so that's cool. I like the maroon red that they're putting in with it. 
a little fabric. It's not a fabric, it's plastic, but it's soft plastic. So yeah, you can mess with it a little bit. Um, and then you get the brown going on here uh, to give it that leather look. And then you get more of that gunmetal gray detail on the bottom there. And then here's his pants. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty actually really detailed pants. So you get some stitching around the inner thigh area and you get more stitching down this area for like any other pants. It's kind of like shorts actually. Um, but yeah, same deal on the other side. And then you get some more of that wrap going on his knee and then there's boots or flip flops or sandals, whatever we want to call them. But yeah, you get that red cloth um, there and then you get the gunmetal gray detailing or lining around that and then that leather brown look there and then the foot you get that maroon red X with that gunmetal red around that they're square and then you get the weird looking toenails there you can see a little bit of mist painting uh, like that went over onto the flip flop but Barely, I, I didn't even notice that until I just looked on the camera. And then the bottom of the feet, you get the like treads there. So that's cool. Um, and then, yeah, that's it for the looks. So let's go over his articulation. So he has a ball joint. I believe, yeah, it's a ball joint. So you can get him to go down that far. Uh, he doesn't really want to go up. You can get him to go left and right. You get nice head pivoting. So that's good. Um, his shoulders can move out that far and the butterf this butterfly joint kind of helps with that so you can maneuver that. It's kind of like shifting. And then the butterfly joint you can also get to go back and forth. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, and then you got a bicep swivel here. Double joints to the elbows. Past 90 degrees, so that's good. Um, his wrists, so it's a ball, I mean, it's like a, what do you want to call it? He has a peg in that side and then that, on the art hand part too. So you can just maneuver it wherever we want, you want to go. So you can do side to side, which is where it's at right now. So yeah, you get side to side motion there. And then if you mess with it, you could rotate it, rotate the hand here and then you get up and down. You can't get it to go up because the spike gets in the way, but if you want to take off the spike, you get it farther. Uh, down pretty far actually, so that's cool. Um, and then he has a ball joint, ball joint at the top torso there, so you can even go forward just a little bit there. I'm gonna put the arm up; it's kind of messing with the focus. Yeah, so you can even go down that far, not much backwards. And then he has another one at the hips, so yeah, not much for much more forward because that thing gets in the way. Backwards, just a little bit more. Then that top joint with all of them going together. Um, and then you can go side to side with all those. And then you can do 360 rotation around the top one if you want. Uh, his legs can kick out. They're kind of clicky. But yeah, they can go out pretty far. So that's cool. Uh, you can go forward just a little bit. These This like belt area kind of restrains it a little bit. Backwards quite a bit. It's okay. Not a whole lot though. Uh, no thigh cut, but um, he does have. Oh yeah, single jointed knees actually. So that's a little off for me. But yeah, only that far. Not. Oh yeah, never mind. I, I didn't even see that. The other peg is kind of hiding in the shorts there. So he does have double jointed knees actually. Uh, so yeah, you get past uh, pretty close. Yeah, a little past nine degrees there. So that's good. Um, his ankles can are the same deal with the, the wrist there. So you can go down that far, up that far. And if you want to, you just rotate it and then you can get side to side, like pivot. Um, and let's see if we can move it back because I don't want to mess with that one. Uh, and then he has toe hinges. So you can go up that far, way, way up. And then down just that far than normal. And then for the brain, if to get him get a stick in there, uh, so you, if you see that little curve there, that's where you, you kind of want to match with that curve. So you want to be like, let's see here, like this, slide it in like that. 
as far as you want and then boom you got them with the brain so i think this figure is pretty cool um honestly i don't have any complaints about it besides maybe just uh like the diaphragm joint going forward a bit more but i mean it's not gonna bother me a whole lot he, he gets a lot of articulation anyways um but yeah um i like all the detailing i like the sculpt a lot it's really cool i like the whole brain attachment idea um the face sculpt is really cool i like it a lot and then just the overall detailing and paint on the figure is awesome so i was actually re i'm actually really happy i found this guy and um i think that's all i've got uh so yeah that's all i've got Thank <laughs> you.